Welcome to my new video and uh, this video is going to be on the capacitor bank sizing and what do you understand by the capacitor bank sizing? The capacitor bank sizing is basically the selection of minimum and ma uh, maximum KVR capacitor bank that will be required for accurate power factor correction and what do you mean by accurate power factor correction? We will be considering the power factor of unity to be the expected power factor. So let us quickly understand how the capacitors are basically connected to the bus bar. So I'm having an infinite bus bar uh, for the people who do not understand the term infinite bus bar. It is basically a bus bar whose voltage and frequency are, are constant. It cannot be changed. So for uh, in the layman terms, it is basically the bus bar of the grid. It is always considered as an infinite bus. So this is my R, this is my Y and this is my B, right? So RYB bus bus I have also uh, since I am in the industry I'll be having some connected loads and uh, the loads are generally inductive and resistive in nature so I'm just considering one load for easy understanding I'm, I'm considering this load and it will be drawing a current of IR plus J of IL. JIL means it will be drawing a reactive current reactive component of current that will be lagging the voltage by 90 degree and it will be drawing a resistive component of current uh, that is equal to IR and uh, this particular current will be drawn from the grid. So this IR plus IL will be drawn from the grid. It will be fed to this particular load. Now if you have understood my previous video that was on power factor you have to understand that if I have to keep my power factor to unity I have to eliminate eliminate this particular component the IL has to be eliminated and to eliminate that I am going to use what a capacitor bank what will a capacitor bank do is capacitor bank once connected to the grid uh, through these switches initially it is disconnected from the grid depending on the current IL this capacitor bank will be connected to the grid by the command from this power factor manager or the reactive power manager so what a reactive power man manager uh, does it it basically has all the data from the grid it will be having the connections from the ct and also the auxiliary coils it will be having the data the current and voltage data of the grid and it will be continuously monitoring the power factor of the system and depending on the power factor if, if the power factor uh, say the set value of a power factor in this manager is unity so if the power factor fluctuates from unity if it decreases to say 0.98 because of this particular component of current what it will do is it will it will basically command these switches to close how it will uh, command is uh, this will be basically the contactors which whose auxiliary coil will be connected to one of the channel of uh, this power factor manager that we will understand separately the electrical the physical electrical wiring we will understand separately just understand for now that uh, this power factor manager is going to command these switches to close down depending on the value of current now as the switches close down as these switches are connected what will happen is a current of IL1 say IL1 will start flow, uh, flowing from this capacitor bank and it will flow to the load so instead of now drawing a current IR plus IL from the grid I'll be drawing a current equal to how much IR plus IL minus of IL1 now to uh, compensate power factor to a hundred percent reactive power compensation to be compensated to a hundred percent i want this component to be zero and to make uh, this component zero suppose one capacitor bank is not able to provide the amount of current which is required by the load so this power factor manager through another channel say channel number two will connect another capacitor bank one more capacitor bank will get connected you know one more delta connected capacitor bank will be connected to the bus bar and now this particular delta connected capacitor bank will also start feeding the current more capacitor banks will be turned on until and unless this current value equals to zero ideally so now since we need multiple capacitor banks connected through the switch to the bus bar we need to understand what minimum value and what maximum value of capacitor bank we require because we just cannot keep on connecting every size capacitor bank 
blindly na if i start connecting 1 kv or 2 kv or it will be economically a huge loss uh, so hence a mathematical calculation is required and for any mathematical calculation we will be requiring some data and what are the data that is required we'll see here so the first data that is required is basically the kv or kilowatt load study of the industry this can be obtained by observing the watt meter every industry has one second data that we will be needing is the power factor study of the industry and this power factor industry uh, power factor data can also be obtained by observing the power factor meter which is also easily and always generally present in the industry now from these two data we have to analyze and identify the maximum and minimum value of both uh, power factor and the kv and why do we need that we'll understand so minimum kv and maximum power factor is required to calculate the minimum value in kvr of of the capacitor bank required and similarly the maximum kv and minimum power factor enables us to calculate the maximum value of the total bank now let us do the calculation quickly so i have a sample data the minimum kva of the industry was 100 kva and the maximum power factor was coming out to be 0.95 and now from these two data we are going to calculate what we are going to calculate the minimum capacitor bank required so as you understand the power factor mathematically is called cos phi so cos phi is 0.95 if i take the inverse of 0.95 i have the phi right so the phi is coming out to be 18.19 degree now i'm i am drawing the power triangle and the power triangle will come up to be something like this i have these two data right kva is the apparent power and this particular is the angle now if uh, this is basically a phasor quantity right so this phasor can be basically dissolved into two components one will be the cos component and one will be the sine component the cos component will be 100 cos phi that is equal to 95 kilowatt this is less of our concern as far as reactive power is concerned and this 100 into sin 18.19 degree approximately equal to 31.21 kvr is the reactive component that we have to compensate at the minimum kv and maximum power factor means this is uh, the least amount of reactive power that we have to compensate so we will try to select a capacitor bank that is very close to but a little bit less than this particular value so we are going to connect to what capacitor bank of 25 kvr plus 5 kvr because this is a standard capacitor bank size so i'll be connecting a 25 kvr bank and a 5 kvr bank in parallel and connecting it to one particular channel of the reactive power manager and it will do the trick and i will be having the minimum a power factor compensation in case of minimum load so now let us summarize what we have learned we have seen the power factor controller right you people might have understood if you want me to cover it in detail please write it in the comment i can give you the detailed uh, say connection diagram everything everything we can discuss about this power factor manager now this power factor manager what it does is it controls the switching of these capacitors bank capacitor banks these capacitor banks are basically switched by the use of this power factor manager and the calculation for the amount of kvar that is required for the compensation is done through the power triangle these three concepts we have learned today i hope you people have understood it and enjoyed it and if you like the video kindly hit the subscribe button here and like the video and kindly comment whatever doubts you have in the comment section so that i can uh, cover them in the topic or if it is possible i'll just clarify them in the comments itself uh, thank you very much thank you for watching signing off